Hi, my name is Seth Castile with Underwater Dogs. I've volunteered at animal shelters all over the country, and there are millions of pets looking for forever homes, and they need our help. One of the best ways we can help them is to take a better adoption picture. One picture saves a life. Today we're going to teach you how to photograph shelter cats to help increase adoption rates. We're here in the cat room at a Los Angeles animal shelter. The mission, photograph some cats to increase adoption rates. As you can see here, we have cages and bars and concrete, not very appealing for photographs. So what we want to try to do is smoke and mirrors, hide these elements and just focus on the cats, their faces, their expressions, eliminate the negativity and just create positive uplifting photographs that can save lives. I've got a partner here, Allison, who's going to help me with these cats. And also she's here for safety. You know, we want to be respectful of these cats. We don't want them jumping out and running away. She can help me keep the cat here in the cage as I take this picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the cage like this. I'm going to put on this special 50 millimeter lens, which I highly recommend. And I'm going to take a wonderful headshot of this cat showing some moment of emotion, some expression that's going to connect with the potential adopters. The beauty of this lens is, there's not a lot of light in here. I can get fast shutter speeds. My pictures are going to be in focus, which is super important. Also, because of this lens, I can blur out the background so the cat's eyes can be in super sharp focus and everything else will be blurred out. So you have no idea the cat's in here. The cat could be in a mansion hanging out in the Bahamas somewhere, just, just living the dream. So we're going to highlight just the head of the cat, just the face of the cat, so we can show some unique expression, some moment of emotion with this cat in hopes to connect with potential adopters so they'll come in and want to say hi. See, no bars, no cage, just this beautiful cat's face. Patience really comes into play when working with cats. You know, some of these cats would love to be photographed. Some of these cats may not be in the mood to be photographed. So we just want to be respectful of that. Uh, we're going to see if this cat's interested in maybe some keys or a treat or a cat toy and see if we can lure this cat out. Uh, into our photo shoot zone and take a better picture. So this cat right here is not interested right now, but obviously this cat is having a blast and wants to hang out with us. So we're gonna do some better shots of this cat. Come on out a little bit more. Yeah, what you wanna try to do is actually get the cat to the front of the cage. That way it's easier to blur out the background. If the cat's standing right next to the background, we're gonna probably see the background. So if we, if we lure the cat out a little bit further, um, It'll actually help us produce better photos. I think we got a good picture. So right now this cat's sort of in the back of the cage. I'm trying to lure this cat to come out a little bit more forwards so we have better lighting. Perfect. Head tilt. So we just used some keys. Uh, the cat wasn't ready for the keys. And that was great because it was unpredictable. And because we introduced this element, the cat responded and just a little head tilt looked up. Great picture. So when you're working with a black cat, I wouldn't recommend them putting them on a black couch or in front of a black wall. We want to make sure they stand out. We have a nice gray couch here, so Henry's going to stand out from the couch. Uh, we have nice light in this room, so we're going to see what he looks like. A lot of people complain that their photos of black cats are out of focus. And it's not necessarily because the cats are too fast, it's because your shutter speed is too slow. So if you're working with a point and shoot camera, Put the camera in sports mode. That'll usually crank up your ISO and you get faster shutter speeds. That way Henry's in focus. If you're using one of these fancy cameras and this lens I recommend, this 50 millimeter lens, you use the biggest aperture you can and that way you get really fast shutter speeds. If you have a fast shutter speed, Henry here is gonna be in sharp focus and his picture's gonna look really good. So use only natural light, turn your flash off, make sure your shutter speeds are fast and you get good pictures. Good. There we go, we got a nice headshot of Henry. Look, look, buddy. And we have a couple of cats in here now. So oftentimes, you'll find two cats that can be adopted out together. So if I've got them both living in the same foster home, and I can lure them over, I can get a picture of both of them in the same shot. That'd be fantastic.
To recap, when working with cats and kennels, always use a partner for safety. Focus on a headshot and don't shoot the negative elements like bars and concrete or metal. Don't use flash, use only natural light and a fast shutter speed. Engage with cats using toys, keys, and treats. Most importantly, have patience when working with cats. You gotta be prepared to spend time to get the shot that you want. If you need to move on to another cat and then come back, that's totally fine. Have fun. Remember, you're saving lives.